Come now to the Newmarket stables of Captain Boyd Rodgeford, trainer of the King's Horses. The head man, James Barnett, has been with the stables for 22 years. Captain Boyd Rochford follows the horses out for their morning exercise. He started training in 1923, since when he's won over half a million in stakes for his owners. Besides the King, he's trained for such famous people as Sir Humphrey de Trafford and Lady Nunburner. Rising Light, second in the St. Ledger with D. Smith, the King's jockey up. Fair Glint, winner of the Little Brie Nursery Stakes. Kingston has won four races this year. Hysilla won the 1944 New Oaks and Champion Stakes. Battle Him, Hunt Cup winner, and Persian Gulf, first in the Coronation Cup 1944, are among his many charges known to all racing fans. And now let's watch some of the champions go through their paces. The early morning exercise is over, and the horses make tracks for home and a spot of breakfast. Through the gates of these stables have passed the bearers of some of the most famous names in racing. Dee Smith, the king's jockey, has another sort of mount to take him to breakfast. And now the day's work is starting in earnest. Horses worth thousands take a lot of looking after. The head man himself takes charge of the feeding stuff. It needs a lot of the right grub to keep a string of thoroughbreds happy and in the right condition to win races. Most of the stable hands are only lads these days, until the older men get released. A load of racing jackets and caps ready for the cleaners, including the king's colors, with the famous black cap and gold tassel. The blacksmith, Percy Goodman, leads out Fair Glint to give his shoes the once over. A second string goes out for exercise to get all tuned up to bring back more trophies for the owners whose horses are trained by Captain Boyd Rochford. <laughs> 